okay, so very obviously this is all for dramatic effect. You guys know I'm not actually panicking like that. So let's just mosey on into the greenhouse and we'll just do this properly. In today's video, we're going to cover a topic that I know quite a lot of you guys are starting to feel a bit anxious about, but I want you to be absolutely aware of this, okay? Look at me, I'm not panicking, I'm not stressed, and quite possibly my tomatoes are in more of a state than yours are. So I want to show this to you guys specifically because there's a lot of assumptions and people seem to think that everything in my garden's perfect, and it's not. The theme of today is don't be anxious and don't panic. Stuff happens in the garden. That's just life. The sky is not falling in. So we're going to talk about my tomatoes today because they've got quite a few problems and they're quite stressed. And I want you guys to see this because some of the comments I'm seeing on YouTube and social media and all that kind of thing, all I'm seeing is you guys worrying about your tomatoes. And you know what? Life's too short. So let's look at the total state my tomatoes are in. So yeah, I am going to talk about tomatoes, but I'm going to show you some other plants in the greenhouse to set the scene here, okay? Now, I shared a photograph of these on all the different social media platforms this week. And the reason I did it was because I wanted to highlight the whole leaves turning purple thing. Now, granted, the photo I shared didn't really properly highlight that because I had taken it and it was a lovely evening light and stuff. But these are marigolds and you can see I've got purple leaves happening and quite a lot of the stem has purple and it's going up to the leaves. Now, sometimes that's fine. Plants should have purple bits. I know these plants shouldn't, so something's wrong. It's not just this though. This is how I know specifically what it is that's wrong. It's not just this. Do you remember all those little salvia cuttings I took last year? Same again. Look how purple all the leaves are. Sunflower. Again, the leaves are starting to get the first tinges of purple. And this is where we will sidestep onto tomatoes because also some of the veins in the leaves are starting to go purple. So how does that relate to the tomatoes? Right, now I'm going to show you this. Please don't panic, okay? It's not the end of the world and it's going to look really crazy and scary. It's so not. This is the point of the videos. I just want you to be like, I enjoy my garden. Okay, we're down at floor level here. I'm trying to get in as close as I can for you, but again, I'll do some shots to give you real proper views of what's happening. My tomatoes, let's see, what are the comments I'm hearing? Right, number one, I'm getting the whole, mine aren't as big as yours, or mine, mine aren't doing as well, or mine seem to be really behind. Okay, mine, some of these are quite tall, Okay, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. It doesn't mean the tomatoes are doing really well because something you guys don't seem to have picked up on, except for one person, is there is not an awful lot of greenery on my tomatoes. Okay, so for all the new guys who maybe haven't been on the rest of this journey, and I would recommend you go back and watch the videos about it, but I started my tomatoes in mid-January. Mid-January, because I sowed the seeds and germinated them on a heat mat in the house and then grew them in the house under grow lights. So they were indoors and they were all warm and toasty and safe with their own light system. And like everyone else, sometimes you get advice and you just follow it without thinking. Someone told me to raise the grow lights, they were too close, so I did it without doing any research. And in fact, the grow lights were perfect and I raised them and it took them too far away. So the little plants suddenly shot up trying to reach the light. They got leggy, okay? And that is why I have tall plants that don't have a lot of foliage because the bits in between the leaves are kind of stretched out. So if you're worrying because you think your tomato plants should have less foliage, foliage is a good thing, don't worry. We only think about that later on when we're actually growing fruit, so don't panic. It's a good thing. The whole Mines are much, much bigger thing. Do you know what? Size does not matter. You want 
healthy, strong plants. It doesn't matter if they're not this size yet. In fact, they, they shouldn't be. Mine normally at this time of year would be about that size. I only have these big ones just now because I sowed them in January under grow lights indoors and I have them now in a greenhouse where I've just recently installed power. So I'm trying to get the hang of heat in a greenhouse. Just, it's an experiment. Now, on that note, I will never ever sow my tomatoes in January again. It was far too early, which is why they're now out in the greenhouse, because they're far too big for the house. So let's get on to the next thing. I want you guys to see just how poorly my tomatoes are. So we showed you all the purple that was happening in the other plants. I'm having the same issue with the tomatoes. And I'm going to tell you why, because there is a reason for it. So let's start with the Roma. This is a bush tomato or a determinate. Okay, so with this one then, the first thing that you notice, and this is great because they're all in different stages of stress, so I can show you it, is the leaves at the bottom went really, really dark green. And I can see that the veins have gone quite purple. Okay, now that will actually carry on and the leaves will then start to fade and they'll go from that dark green and they'll start going yellow. That's what's happened in these ones, the bigger plants. The bigger plants, they're under more stress. Right, <laughs> okay, so bigger plant, you can clearly, clearly see here the leaves are quite yellow, okay? These leaves are dying. I'm not going to be able to save them, so I am going to have to clip these off and tidy the plant up, which is why I'm wanting to do the video now to show you. But the bottom one here is a brilliant example where you can see those purple veins. And eventually it just dies and I will have to take them off. So why is that? Well, as I mentioned, sometimes a plant might have purple tinges to leaves, purple leaves, stems, etc. Because it's meant to. In this case, it isn't. So it's because the plants are stressed and the purple is a brilliant way of the plant telling us what it's stressed about. And it is basically that it's not getting the nutrients that it needs, specifically phosphorus, okay? So what we then say is, well, why is that happening? The number one thing could simply be that it needs a feed. So if you're growing your tomatoes on and they're in little pots, the reason we then pot them up into bigger pots, the first one is because we want to stress that out to form more roots so it's got a good strong root system, but also you pot it up because the plant will use up the nutrients in the little pot and you need to give it more compost so it gets more nutrients. But that's the first thing. Now, I have fed all of these so I know it's not that it needs a feed. The second reason could be if they're too cold, the, if the, specifically the soil is too cold, the plant can't get to the nutrients in the soil, it can't take up all the nutrition that it needs. And that, I think, is probably what it is in here. And the most common issue that people are going to see with their tomato leaves all going yellow just now, okay? So again, I'm just emphasising again, I know I'm talking about something that's really scary, but I don't want you to stress and panic about this. Because if it is the case that the soil's too cold, you could take your plants back indoors to where it's warmer, and it will sort itself out over time. I can't do that because they're too big to go indoors. So hopefully I can sort it out using the heating in my greenhouse. But again, how did this happen if I've got a heated greenhouse? Well, basically I've only just got the heating in the greenhouse and I'm learning. So one of the things I've learned is that although I thought the greenhouse was at a certain temperature, the thermostat on the heater wasn't calibrated to match my actual proper temperatures and I can't calibrate it. So I've had to adjust the temperatures I asked the greenhouse to be at. Okay, now other people do this using bubble wrap and fleeces and things, but the main thing to remember with your tomatoes is you do not want them to ever be in soil that's below 10 degrees Celsius because that's when a lot of these problems begin to happen. Okay, and also for the thriving, rather than surviving, for thriving, if you want them to be setting flowers and fruit at the minute, you want them to be above 15C, okay? And that's consistently, so be thinking about your nighttime temperatures. And this is why we're telling a lot of people online all the time is don't put your tomatoes out yet, 
Don't put them in an unheated greenhouse yet. Don't put them in the garden if you can grow in the garden. Okay, so again, I don't want you guys worrying about this and stressing about it. But I just want you to know that things like this happen to all of us and it's okay. All of us on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and stuff, we're just normal people in our gardens. None of us are TV presenters with professional gardens. And very few of us are actually professional gardeners. And I'm learning to garden. This is my first garden. I promise I will keep updating you and we'll see how we got on with saving my tomato plants. So hopefully that's helped alleviate all the folk that are worrying, okay? So it doesn't matter if your tomato plants aren't as big as mine or as big as other people's. That's okay. Your tomato plants are the size your tomato plants should be. It doesn't matter if your tomato plants are super bushy because do you know what? Leaves are good. Leaves are how your tomato plants feed themselves. And if some of your leaves are going yellow, do you know what? It could just be nature. Plants tend to lose the bottom leaves as they get new ones up above. Could just be that. But if you think they're turning funny colours, you can go and look it up and it might be just a case that you have to feed it, heat it up, something like that. So don't worry. If you want someone to tell you not to panic and just enjoy your gardening, I am definitely your girl. So if you like this type of content, hit the subscribe button and that way you can control the notifications and get a message every time we post a video so you don't miss any. You can also hit the thumbs up or thumbs down button on videos to tell people if you liked it or not. And always, you can drop little comments below videos to chat to all of the different people watching the videos. Right, I'm going to leave you on that note. The theme of today is don't worry. I have been Eli, chilled out in my greenhouse, and I will see you next week. See ya!